Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I am going out to the barnyard. I want to show you all the work that we've been doing. Jeremy and I yesterday did a lot of changes with the chicken coops, as well as cleaned half the barn out. A um, couple years worth of just putting in and taking out. Everything needed like reorganized and restructured. And then with all these chickens, all the hatching and all the babies, we need to figure out a new way to set it up for the hatchery. So we had some pretty bad thunderstorms last night. So I'm coming out here to check the girls and everybody looks great. We extended this gen pop and what you see here is three panels long. Hi, big huge area. So they have their pool and their chicken table over there. They got their little awning. We are gonna give them a little more of shade. So we're gonna put on a canopy or some metal siding on the top to give them a nice shade and also shelter from the wind and the snow. Hi girls, good morning. Good morning. Freaking frack right there. Hi, Bear. Good morning. Tom Tom. Tom Tom. Ta -da! <laughs> oh, that's not Tom Tom. That's Romeo. No wonder you're not yelling back at me. Yeah, you're not yelling back. There's Tom Tom. Good morning, pee pigs. Ta -da! How are you? Good morning, Peppa. Babe. Monkey. Oh. Flower. Good morning, everybody. All right. So Romeo is here. Over here is my olive eggers. Now they are all in with bees in the trap, who is their rooster. Come on, Romeo. You got to move a little bit more. Yeah. And then Purple Copper is in there as well. Hi, girls. There's Bees in the Trap. Isn't he gorgeous, you guys? He is a black copper moran. He's from a very dark brown jean copper moran. So he is going to be a star of our Olive Egger show, huh? Good morning. Let's walk over here. I am going to go show you some of the breeder pens. We expanded them and opened them up. So each one now has a double sized pen. And that is going to hopefully give them more space and more happiness. And I also have started them on supercharger yesterday. They're starting to molt. I have not seen very many eggs in the last week or so. And to keep this production going, we need to give them as much protein as we can and make sure that they're healthy and happy and get them through the molt. All right, I moved the crusted cream leg bars over here. And there's actually crusted and creel. And they got moved over here yesterday. Hi, guys. I did put this small little pen here that we got from Avatum, and inside is where they're going to be kept warm and lay their eggs. And then outside, they're going to have their food and their water. And as you can see, they are covered. And I just had a cute little piggy nibble on my toe right there. Adorable. Hi, babies. Girl. Hi. I'll tell you what, it's been really nice the last week or so, just cleaning out things, reorganizing things, trying to get our thoughts together, see what we're going to do when we grow up, figure it out. And then we're still kind of under construction over here, but I am going to take you in and show you. Good morning. There's Whiskey, Whiskey. Good morning, Whiskey. Whiskey, Whiskey. rain on last night. Say no, but I've been walking in the rain. Yeah, I see your legs are all wet. Is that good? Okay, you guys. Excuse the muddy mess. Over here are our lavender Americanas. So there is only four. There's three girls and a boy. That's called a quad. Now these lay blue eggs and they're gorgeous. They're called lavender and they're actually a silver color and they are purebred, real true Americanas. And then over here, we opened up the center. We took out the middle panels and gave the salmon favorals two pens. And these are my gorgeous and favorite. 
These are called salmon faverolles. They lay the pink egg that everyone sees on their rainbow hatching eggs, or whenever you see people searching for them, these are the ones that they come from. They are very docile, very docile. They have five toes, heavily feathered feet, fluffy cheeks, fully bearded. That's the rooster, isn't he gorgeous? And that's his dad right there. He's gorgeous too. So I set them up in there. They have their water, they have their laying boxes. All we gotta do is get some bedding in there. Yeah, it was a muddy mess this morning, huh, ladies? And then that also set us up over here to remove the center panels and see our black copper morans in here. You guys got rained on. Good morning. This is a new cockerel that is growing out. We're gonna see how he does. We're gonna see how he feathers out, um, see his tail position, his comb. He has his, his hackle feathers. Make sure he doesn't have a halo. Yeah, we're growing you out. You're a pretty boy, you could live here. And here's my black cup Moran's. And you can see some of them look kind of like they're losing their feathers, which they are. They're all starting to molt. These are my beautiful babies. Now these ones lay the very dark brown eggs. Some people call them chocolate eggs or brown layer eggs. These are the dark brown egg color genetics. Hi girls. We also added the timer for the lights because the sun is going down a lot sooner than it has all summer yet. And it's time to give them a little bit more light. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get out there. Excuse me. So now there's just three breeds over here. I did have a pen that had grow outs. I went ahead and I put them in the Gen Pop because they were big enough. They were probably three to four months and they are full size looking pullets. So they are getting along just well. Let's go look at these silky babies. Hey. So in here, we've got Silkies and then the three sisters. <laughs> these are the three girls. Hi, these are my Frizzle Cochins. And you're just sweet and friendly. He is your sweet and frizzle. I don't even really know if they're girls, you guys. I don't even know what they are. They're just cute. And then here is Frosty. Frosty's a jerk. Frosty likes to peck me. Yeah, see? Move over, Frosty. Move over. They're a little wet because it rained last night. And then I believe these are three girls. And the reason I say that is because see how Frosty has those little wisps off the top of his head? The girls don't have that. The girls don't have the Frosty wisps. I know it looks kind of like, did you peck me for any reason? Oh, you pecking me? I know, it's so fun. You guys, aren't they sweet? Yeah, they're so sweet. So that's all the birds we did with Jen Pop and all these breeders out here. And here is Lammy and Evelyn. Good morning. Hi, Lammy. Evelyn, how was your night? How was your night? Guys, I really do love chickens. I think what I love most is breeding. I love seeing their egg color. I love watching them incubate. I love the joy and happiness that everybody has in their hearts and on their faces whenever they purchase our chickens from us or our eggs or our chicks because it's always the beginning of new life and it's always so exciting. What about you? I'm happy about you too. Yeah. Little molasses tongue there. Whisk, 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 good boy. Do you guys want to see our brooders? Do you want to see our almost set up area? I will show you our chicks. Now, it's going to change, I'm sure, 10 times because that's what happens whenever you start setting things up. And our brooders are out here in the barn, and then our incubators are in the house. Back here are some of our brooders. These were hatched yesterday, and then some of them were hatched two days before that. So we brought them out to the incubator. We brought them out here. Now these are all olive eggers. Hi, sweet baby. So the olive eggers is bees in the trap as a rooster and all the different varieties of hens that lay green eggs. So these are called multi-generational. And what that means is I have different generations of olive eggers. I have F1 through F5. So my F3 through F5 I bought from a place down in Texas last year and I grew them out. So those are chickens that lay green eggs that are bred back to chickens that lay green eggs over and over and over. And that's how, hi, that's how you get multi-generational. So all of my green layers are in with these. 
It was a very, very dark brown jean because he's a black copper marine. Okay. Now, there is a couple salmon faberols in here from the salmon faberol pen. You can already see their puffy cheeks, their full beard, and <laughs> their feet. I know, honey, but look at that. Five toes, heavily feathered. So, <laughs> there's not very many breeds that have five toes. Another one that you might know is Silkies. Silkies have five toes. These are about three weeks, and I separated them out into here yesterday. So they do not need bites. You guys made a mess. Move your way. Yes, they do not need that. So the silver ones are the lavender americanas. Yeah, like you. See? Oh, you're so pretty. The lavender americanas are known for their puppy cheeks and their blue eggs. They're gorgeous. And those are purebreds. And then anything that looks like a chipmunk. Not you. Let's see. This right here is a cream leg bar cockerel. So this is a boy. See so, you how know, he has a barred pattern? So the boys start turning white and black, and as they grow up, you'll see they'll look just like our rooster. And then the girls, they stay kind of a brown chipmunk look. See how they don't have the bar pattern? See how their back is like a chipmunk? It's a girl. Here's a new girl. Here's a girl that was born or hatched last week. Yep, see her? So see how she has a very distinct chipmunk pattern on her back? The black and then the yellow line and then the black line again and down to brown. The boys, will not have that. The boys will be gray and tan and will be very, very muted. You will not be able to see that straight line down their back. Yeah, we don't have a boy to show everybody. And I'll go show you the rest, you guys. Here are some more olive eggers. So most of them are black. Sometimes they're gray. So if these are girls, they grow up, they will lay green eggs. Very desirable, again, for rainbow hatching eggs or rainbow table eggs. People call it rainbow egg envy. I love that. That's a, such a cute word. Rainbow egg envy. You guys, comment below. Hashtag rainbow egg envy. That's awesome if you want to do that. Okay, uh, you guys are out of water. Yep. You want to be out of water. Okay, guys. This is my special project pen. These are all five weeks today. The black ones that grow out all of acres from our, from our farm. From our hatchery. And all the brown ones are well summers. The well summers lay the brown eggs with speckles. So the plan here, besides having brown eggs with speckles for all of our customers, but also to crossbreed them with either Americana or cream egg bar and make green eggs with brown speckles. Also, when they get this big, they go through the smaller feed and the bigger watering containers quicker. Like that was just less than 12 hours and they're already out of water. But we're getting them set up. See? I know. And last but not least, <laughs> here are my black copper Morans. Also, another project is guineas. Yeah. Hi, guys. We do have one with square leg. Thanks. Hi, guys. They really do like these heat plates, you guys. They really do. So, we keep them in here. These are our grow outs, black copper morans. I put them in here so I do not have to put a tag on their leg, nor do I have to put a tag on their wing. So any that I keep, I will wing tag them. So I'll know when they were hatched and when to expect eggs. And also we just how to sort them here on the farm. The guineas are gonna be for us, for snake and tick control. All right guys, we'll see you later. We'll see y'all later. Hi, sweet babies. Hi, sweet baby. update on all our chicken happenings and of course you got to see the pigs and the sheep because they're everywhere and this guy Romeo hi Romeo I 
can't wait to keep you guys apprised on everything that's going on the farm. This is just a quick little update to show you what's going on and what we've been working on. Sometimes it's not as easy to get out the phone or put it on a tripod to film. So I'm gonna try to give you little tidbits. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit the dingle bell. Now what the dingle bell is, is the alert button. We've had some issues. We have lots and lots of people that have been subscribed for years. Going back into our channel and seeing that they're not subscribed anymore, nor are they getting alert. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, I got a confession.